do our PBL, which is the Oak Ridge High School College Prep Economics class, and the graphic art. Graphic arts number three. So juniors and seniors. What you're gonna see today, they're supposed to answer one question, which is what businesses does Oak Ridge need? This is all them. This is them from conception. My side, the econ side, was the business side about formulating a business, business plan, uh, demographics of Oak Ridge, needs, rationale. His team, his kids, the graphic arts kids, were the marketing, so the visuals. They all did it together. One of the beautiful things about this process was, number one, getting to know people outside of my department, my well, department's wonderful, but you know, being out in school and having the kids have an experience where they are interacting with kids they normally wouldn't and taking ownership. Uh, a project-based learning or problem-based learning, we haven't decided what we're gonna call it yet, is where they are the ones, this isn't an end project, this was them doing things the entire time, and this is the end result. We're a recording studio for not any one type of music. We are multiple music. Any music you want to make, you can come in and record. Um, right here is basically what the studio looks like. Here's all the equipment that we would need to be able to make it. Um, really, our goal is to provide everything you need to have a great experience to be able to make any type of music you want. Usually our studio fee and everything else is $50 an hour. This fee also includes if you need a producer to help you out on, on basically anything, any type of music. Usually our studio time is Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, we're closed on Sundays. Um, our location would be over by the mini putt, where the old mini putt place used to be. Really our only competitors would really be Night Song Studios. Um, they have like big name name brand like TV competitors and everything like that. So really they're big, but the only thing that really makes us stand out is our location because there's a lot of people in this area that'll be able to create music and they don't really have the gas money to be going all the way out to Knoxville or going all the way out to Rockwood or something like that to be able to make music. But yeah, this is our studio. Kingpin Studios. My man Charlie Chaz and me. All the ladies in the place with style and grace. If you got your good shoes on. Our business is Pump It Up and it's a place for teens to come and hang out. We've got a teen lounge, we've got mini golf, go karts, dance floor, and we've also got food and drink. We offer many wide varieties of activities for our teenagers at low prices, which is really good because teens need low prices to have fun. And we're also closer to home because we don't want teens driving all the way to Knoxville, per se, to have fun. We also offer a themed nights on the dance floor. So we'll have just different themed nights. And we have a DJ, and our mini golf is neon, our go karts are neon. So yeah, that's Pump It Up. Come to Pump It Up! This has been great. I really like some of the businesses I've seen and would definitely patronize these businesses. Our business is Mama Mia's Italian Restaurant and we chose this business because we feel like Oak Ridge needs a lot of sit-down restaurants and we have a lot of fast food chains and we chose Italian because we have one local competitor. We have gondolier as a competition. There is more. There's more um, restaurants in Knoxville. Um, we do have a website. We do have a commercial, and we do have a radio ad. And our prices, our place would be better in Oak Ridge because we have more lower prices. Like we have special seniors enjoy a free dessert with a meal. Kids eat free Wednesday and Friday and two for 20 plus an appetizer. Yeah, we uh, we just finished an Italian one and we're all hungry after seeing that. Uh, but very impressed with the students' ideas and, and many of the things I wish they could open up some of these establishments right now. So we are technical tech here to create
create a safer environment for people to play this dragon and have a better experience. Well, we offer the top of the line equipment and we're going to try to have the best out of everybody around us and maybe even still some people's customers. We have did the research on everyone around the Eater Laser Tech buildings and we've noticed two major problems between every Eater Laser Tech. One, they're either too far away or two, they've got uh, or their uh, equipment's nowhere near as high tech as it should be. It's decades old. So our company is called JK's Hair and Supply and what we do is we sell hair, like weave and stuff. And um, we felt like Oak Ridge needed this for the simple fact that, you know, there's not a hair store in Oak Ridge that really supplies for ethnic women. We just felt like we should create a business that, you know, will ensure that, you know, the high quality and all that stuff for the ethnic women, but also for a low price too. Because you see, when women order hair offline and stuff, they, it typically it takes a while to get here, of course. It's very expensive, of course, and you, you never really know like what you're getting. And so we feel like with our store, you know, you can come in, you can actually feel the hair, you can actually see what color it is, see if it blends with your hair. And then also, you know, as you're walking out, we have our supplies, like our blow dryers, our flat irons, our curling irons, all of that. We have that stuff on sale, too. This is for convenience because all we have is a Sally's that sells clip-ins for Caucasian people that don't really blend well with our hair. So, we decided that it would be easier than driving 30 to 45 minutes to Knoxville as opposed to going down the street and not getting what you need. We are Party Legends Party Planners and what we do is we start the party, obviously. We make party planning easy. We try to make it easy as possible, like we do catering, DJ, like with catering, if they want our catering, that's fine. But if they want like salsaritas, we can make those arrangements just so it's easier for them. Because teenagers are getting jobs, parents already have jobs, grandparents, well, they don't really want to plan parties. So that's where we come in. We make it, once again, easy. So we have some basic prices here. Or we can customize it to whatever budget you have. You know what, this is phenomenal. I, it's just a little disappointing that these businesses aren't actually real. Because I saw three that would have been great for Oak Ridge. Chuck, what about you? Absolutely. I think they've really done some good research as far as finding out what Oak Ridge or the area needs yeah. as far as a potential new business. Yeah, exactly. So, this is a great day today. And great job, students. Hi. I'm Shane Harris, CEO of Design Co. So in Oak Ridge, there's a problem with publicity. A lot of people will say, you know, there's not a lot to do in Oak Ridge. When in fact, there actually is a lot to do in Oak Ridge, but people tend not to know about it because of the lack of good advertising. So we created this company to advertise and publicize um, new businesses in the town of Oak Ridge and do some freelance work while we're at it. So we focus on creating new and innovative designs in order to effectively advertise and publicize. We design logos, posters, billboards, labels, t-shirts, um, signs, and much more. And here is our poster. We are located at 901 Oak Ridge Turnpike in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. You can contact us at 865-399-8445 or go online to our website at ordesignco.wix.com slash designco. Hi, we are Vero Truco. Um, we're an organic body products organization. Um, we specialize in makeup, but um, we have all body products from um, body scrubs, natural oil, and that's called Anxious Be Gone. You use it, promise you won't be feeling anxious, and it smells good. And we derived our name Vero Truco when we thought of what does Sephora mean? And Sephora is beauty in Greek. And so we played around with a few different languages um, and we looked up um, true makeup in, um, in Italian. And um, we thought that was fitting since it's organic, true. Um, 
our business would be located where the Oak Ridge Mall, um, if you go to Sephora, it's really out of the way and it would be a lot more convenient if we had a body products organization in Oak Ridge. Um, we, use we use essential oils and um, just other organic stuff to use the your natural um, body elements that just actually give you natural glow instead of caking it on your face. <laughs> okay, compared to prices, we are less expensive. Like let's yeah. say if you went to Walmart and you go to their makeup, it's not as good, but it's very pricey. And also we have a makeup store called Merle Norman in Oak Ridge, which is also very pricey, but compared to Veratruco, we are less expensive. And also we took a poll and it shows that people prefer organic makeup more than they do regular. So. So our store is Explore Outdoors, and it's an outdoor retail shop, and we're going to have pretty much any genre of outdoor sports that you can think of, like fishing, hiking, biking, skateboarding, rowing, anything you can think of, we're going to have it. And pretty much, we're just going to have like our store in the old Kroger, so uh, old Kroger spot, and we think it's going to be a really good idea because it's just really big, it's really spacious, and has plenty enough floor space for us to uh, have all of our stuff. And we're going to have events that involve being outdoors, and JT can tell you more about that. Yeah, so we're wanting to sponsor like events over at like Haw Ridge or at the river, maybe with Fox or other big brands like that, hold races. I think it would be a good idea for our community to get out in the outdoors. We have a great location set up, and uh, all, of, all of Oak Ridge is like a really good outdoor spot. It's really the only thing you can do. Um, these are some of the brands we carry. We have our website set up, all our commercial and uh, our business cards. But uh, like I said, uh, like Matt said, the Kroger, Kroger Park uh, spot I think would be great because we can put a barrier up because it's so big. We can split the, uh, the, the store in half and use half the space for like storage for like our kayaks, canoes, bikes, all that good stuff. And the other half for like displays and a rock climbing wall and things that you could test your equipment out on. Well, first off, I think it was quite obvious that there's a, been a lot of work, effort put into the presentations, uh, good signs of research, uh, a lot of strengths, uh, some weaknesses uh, within the groups that can be improved, but this is why the groups are uh, working in this direction, uh, but very impressive. Uh, and actually learn some things that I didn't know, so that's always good. <laughs>